Hello. Hello, everybody. It's Mrs. Greenhouse. Hello, Norris Elementary School. Hello, Fairview Elementary School. I'm glad to see you guys. We're here for virtual family art night. I'm gonna wait just a few seconds till some more people join in with us. Tonight we're gonna be painting this awesome Christmas tree together. And I think some more people will be hopping on here any minute. So I've sold kits uh, the past couple weeks of Christmas trees. And in your kit, you've got all kinds of paint and other supplies we're gonna talk about talk about all of that here in just a little bit. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to say um, thank you to Anderson County Schools and ACTV for letting me film in this awesome, awesome studio tonight. This is the coolest place. Ryan Sutton has been so generous in letting me come in here and join um, their team for the night in this awesome studio. It's like, a, it's like a real television studio, you guys, in the basement of the Office of Technology, so I'm super excited to be here. Um, and I wanted to say thank you to my principals at Norris Elementary and Fairview Elementary who always are supportive of all my crazy art ideas. We have family art night every year and we couldn't have it in person this year so we decided to do something a little different. And so we came up with this idea of doing the virtual art night. And um, thanks to Miss Branham and Miss Couples for going along with my crazy ideas. And thanks to all the teachers who have helped me get the orders in and a big thanks to uh, Sandra Swisher and Carrie Hooks, who are my secretaries at both of my schools. They helped with all the money and all the, getting all the orders organized. I couldn't do it without you. And a big thank you also to all of the families at Norris Elementary and Fairview Elementary for continuing to participate in Family Art Night, even though we can't be together. Usually we do this in our cafeteria. You know, one evening, we had, with the last few years, we've done clay ornaments, we've done canvas paintings, we've done clay bowls, all kinds of things. And of course, we couldn't do that this year. So this is a pretty cool opportunity. So I'm pretty excited and I'm glad everybody's here. I have um, one friendly face here with me, Nicole Thrain. Ms. Thrain, hop up here for a second and wave. Ms. Thrain teaches fourth grade at uh, Norris Elementary School and she came along with me to be my moral support and she'll be answering all your questions in the chat. If you're on Facebook Live, you can get on the chat and um, and ask, ask questions. All right, so let's see. First off, we wanna look in this kit. So if you ordered a kit, you should have um, one of these at your house. There's a paper in there. Of course, the Christmas tree. A paper plate. All the paint, hopefully it made it home intact and nothing came out. Okay, and then if you need something to paint on, if you're worried about having a paint mess, your paper bag can be used as your placement. So if you don't have a placement at home, you can always use your paper bag. I think I'm gonna use that. Let's see, this is if you wanna mix paints. This is the paper plate if you wanna mix any paints on there. You have a paper towel. You should have a couple different paint brushes. I tried to include a flat brush and a round brush in everybody's kit. And a little string. This is for putting the, hanging your Christmas tree at the end. You'll wanna hang that up. And oh, a special thanks to Mr. Jim, our new PE teacher. He drilled the holes in all of these for us. That was such a big help because they came with no, no way to hang it. And he said, oh, I'll break my drill. He drilled it for us. So the string, hang on to that, set that to the side. Water cup, you'll need water in there. 
And then also on this list, it says, what else might you need? Newspaper or table covering to protect the tabletop. So we have this, if you need that. Probably some extra paper towels or some wet wipes. You'll need some water to put into your water cup. I have a hair dryer on hand so I can blow dry between my layers. If you don't have a hair dryer, you can just, you know, wait and paint, finish it later if you want to add more layers of paint without your colors mixing. And then it says Christmas music, cookies, and hot chocolate. These are really important things to have on hand because we want to get in the holiday spirit, right? I, I am feeling really super festive and I think a little Christmas music would make everybody feel super festive. Um, I wanted to say thank you to Diverse Woodworking. It's the company that um, I sourced these trees through. They're a company in Indiana and they have a Facebook page, so definitely go on and like their Facebook page. Really great company. I had really good service from them. It's just like a small um, local in Indiana, like a small business there that d does these cut, uh, wooden cutouts. They're super fun to paint on. Um, so let's go ahead and open up our paint here. All the uh, paint ramekins and cup and paper plate, I ordered all that through Clinton Office Supply. They do a really good job giving us um, Anderson County teachers discounts on supplies like, the, like this. And then the paint I ordered from NASCO, which is like a art supply catalog, and they um, provide a lot of things for art teachers, give, give good discounts to, to public school art teachers, so that's a good company also. Okay, let's see what have we got here. This is acrylic paint, and I bought mine in bulk from NASCO. I have a lot of families ask me, parents ask me all the time, what should I buy for paint? What kind of acrylic paint should I buy? These are two different brands that are really inexpensive for beginners um, craft paint. This is Apple Barrel craft paint. This comes from Walmart. This is like 50 cents for this. And then this is called Anita's. This comes from Hobby Lobby. This, these are great for beginners. You can paint on wood, you can paint on canvases. Um, this, these are not the brands that I have in here because I bought mine in gallon jugs, but if you're wanting to do more painting at home, both of these are great inexpensive acrylics that you can use um, with your kids at home. Okay, Nicole, is there anything, any questions or anything yet? I, of course I can't. Everyone's saying that it looks great and they're really excited. Okay, let's, I'll, I'm ready to paint. Are y'all ready to paint? So everyone should have red, yellow, blue, black, and white paint. I'm gonna start with, uh, oh, and green, the most important color, the green for the tree. I'm gonna start with green. You don't have to paint your tree green, of course. You can paint it however you want. This one, I, did a lot of color mixing with green and white, and I really did something kind of different on there. This one is a little bit more traditional, really whimsical. And then this one, I haven't totally finished this one yet. I wanna come back in with some black, like I did on here and do some outlining. But this one I try to give more texture to with the paint and put the paint on a little bit thicker. So when you're painting, you just kind of can Decide what you want to make. My son painted this side. He wanted it to look really realistic. See that realistic texture? So you can create yours however you want. I'm gonna start with my flat brush. Of course, I've got my paper towel close by. And I'm just gonna start painting the green layer on first. And I might have to put more than one layer on here, which is fine. If you want it to be a lighter green or, you know, I have seen some really cute things with like lime green. You could add white, you could add some yellow. I think I'm gonna put some white on here. And just see what happens if I just put a little white on there. And again, I'm using this flat brush. You could also use, uh, would be a really fast way, if you, if you wanted to fill a whole section really fast with paint, you could use one of those foam 
flat foam brushes that, that they're black and they have like a wooden handle, they're really inexpensive. That's something that's easy to come by. If you ever want to paint something and fill it up really fast, you know, a bigger brush does help with that. But I thought this little brush, we could paint the whole tree and then also paint the details with it. Oh, something else that I didn't put on the list that you might want to have on hand is a black Sharpie. When it's dry, you can always go back and outline some of these things. I think I used a black Sharpie in a couple spots. Then of course you're gonna wanna write your name and the year you painted it on the bottom because this is gonna become one of those things that you put out every Christmas. Say, so remember that time when we were all stuck at home and we couldn't have family art night together? Remember that? We painted these trees. That was such a great memory of 2020. <laughs> Yeah. So something that I am gonna miss about doing family art night this way is that I don't get to see all your finished work. So I have a little bit of a, I had an idea. I want you to take a picture, parents take a picture of all the finished trees that you make at your house. If, if, if you're just making one, take a picture of it. If you know, two or three people in your house are making one. Take pictures of all the trees, and I want you to post them on Facebook. We'll, we'll make a spot on Facebook on the Norris Elementary School and the Fairview Elementary School Facebook page where you can post your finished trees. And if you don't have Facebook, you can email me a picture of your finished trees. My email address is a greenhouse at acs.ac. You can email me a picture of your finished tree. I'm gonna put all the picture, all the submissions of the finished trees into a drawing. And I have gift cards to some really awesome local restaurants. And you might get drawn out um, to get a $15 gift card to the Museum of Appalachia. You might get drawn out to get a gift card to Sweet Cafe or to Vega. Those are all really good local restaurants. And I had some really sweet local families donate some gift cards to this. So that, that would just be like a little fun extra. So we're gonna do a drawing. Everybody who submits a picture will have a drawing. Yes, Nicole? We have a oh, we have a question. My, my chat girl says we have a question. Have a question. How long should we let the paint dry? So if you are going to paint, are you already done with your green? Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna actually blow dry mine. I have my hair dryer here with me and I'm actually gonna blow dry mine. This is not ready to paint the second coat on yet. So if you're ready to start painting your ornaments, don't do it yet. You're going to, wait a minute, drink some hot chocolate, eat a cookie, and we'll look at it in a minute. Got to get to painting. So finished uh, pictures. I'll probably do the drawing next week. So if you email me your picture or you put it in the Facebook page of your finished tree, that way I get to see it. And then whoever submits pictures, I'll put your name in a hat for a drawing for delicious restaurant gift card. Okay, there's my tree. I think I'm ready for the next step. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna use my hair dryer to speed this up a little bit. If you've got a hair dryer, I recommend doing this real quick. Just kind of speeds up the process. You, if you start painting on there, if you start painting on there too soon, then your colors will get really muddy. We definitely don't want brown. Christmas ornaments. And my students know if you put all three primary colors together, it makes brown. So we don't want brown.
I'm afraid to go too high. I'm afraid I'm going to blow everything off the table. <laughs> I didn't paint the star yet, and I didn't paint the, the trunk. Also, if you don't have a hair dryer and you're kind of waiting for it to dry, you can also, you know, take the time to paint your edges. It's going to look a lot more professional if you'll paint your edges like this. So when you hang it, those are painted. So if you're waiting for the front to dry, you could, and you still have green paint on your brush, you can paint your edges like that. I'll definitely want to do that before I hang this one up. Okay, just a little bit more blow drying and then we'll move on to the decorating. That's the fun part. So I think I'm going to decorate mine like this one, similar to this one, and I'm gonna rinse my brush. Oh, gotta get my water in my cup. When you're using acrylic paint, you definitely want to have a dry brush. I prefer having a dry brush. Watercolor paint, you definitely want a wet brush, but in between rinsing, I recommend blotting on your paper towel to dry your brush. The acrylic's gonna work better if your brush is dry. And then I'm gonna take white paint and I'm gonna use the flat side of my paintbrush and I'm just gonna paint the swag here. And you could paint this with any color. You wouldn't have to do white, but you might want to paint white first and then paint another color on top of it. I think I'm going to try and do the red stripes like I did on this one. Just kind of freehand that. If you're nervous, of course, you could always draw with a pencil first. But I think we'll just paint right on that. I kind of feel like Bob Ross right now. Happy little trees, happy little trees. Oh, he was a great guy. All right, in we go. Then I've got to let that dry too before I put my red stripes on there, my candy cane stripes, because if I put the red on there now, you know what's going to happen. It's going to turn pink. Oh, that looks good. So now I'm going to add what will become my ornaments. I'm just going to paint these little circles. And I will put color on top of these too. I will be curious to see the finished product from, from some of you because I think that you will create something, as always, my students create things that I could never have even dreamed of. Like they always exceed my expectations with their creativity. So I'm really excited to see what, what you guys come up with. I did think it would be super cute to paint one and put your, like, greenhouse, I'd put a big G on it and hang it on the front door. Or if you had a Christmas wreath, you could put this, like, in the middle of the Christmas wreath with your family initial on it. I've also seen ones like this that are all red and white, like red and white stripes, red and white polka dots, just kind of a different thing. Okay, while that's drying, I'll probably hit that with the blow dryer again in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and paint my yellow star. And I think I'm definitely gonna want more than one layer of this yellow. It's not very bold yet. Might put a white coat and then another yellow coat on top. And again, you're going to want to paint all around the edges. Oh, Mr. Greenhouse, glad to be part of Family Art Night. And we have Mason and Sawyer from Fairview that have said hello. Oh, look. 
I'm just now looking up at the screen and I can see how everyone's here. Isaiah and Micah say hi. Hi, Isaac and Micah. Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh. Hello from Mason and Sawyer. Oh, Kendall Kits. Miss Harris says they're ready to go. They're excited. Pam Turner having so much fun. Oh my gosh, sweet Pam. The Bachelors asked if you have a favorite ornament on your tree at home. Oh, well, that's a hard one because when I was growing up, my parents bought us a Christmas ornament every year. Okay, here's a, here's a little special thing, parents, you can do for your kids because my parents did this for me and it was so special. My parents bought us a Christmas ornament every year. They still buy us one every year, but... They bought us one every year for Christmas. And then when I got married, my parents gave me all my ornaments and said, this is for your tree at your new house. And it was really special. So I have all these ornaments from back from when I was a kid. But then now we buy ornaments every year for my son. So it's hard to say my favorite ornament on the tree. Last year, uh, my boys made a really cool Christmas tree out of wood it's like a teepee and it's got burlap wrapped around it it's definitely a different kind of christmas tree but it's really cool and i'm excited to put it up again this year it's just a, we live in a really small house and we have limited space and it worked out just perfect the size of it and everything is perfect for our little house reagan smith says you are the best teacher ever oh thank you reagan oh my gosh that's what i want to do with mine margaret coker says Make a tree with family initial. Oh, that's a good idea, Ms. Coker. All right, so I've got my yellow. Hello from Sarah Collins. Hello, Sarah, Sarah Collins. I'm really excited that you guys are all here. Harmony Carr says hello. Oh, hi. And Julie Wiskowski. So awesome. All right, I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer again. Six different states. Oh my gosh, well I know we may have some from Missouri because that's where my parents live. Mm -hmm. And I told my mom to tune in. <laughs> yeah, Columbia, Missouri. Right in the middle? Yeah, right in the center. I see them. That's awesome. Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, uh, Georgia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Wow, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So now I'm gonna take the flat brush again and I'm going to take red and I'm just going to make these little I'm just gonna drag these down and just kind of eyeball that I think it looks good doesn't it it's very whimsical so we have um, family in Missouri and we have greenhouses have um, family in Texas but then I have lots of cousins and we have family probably in every state. And it's hard sometimes to get together for Christmas, uh, all of us together, you know. But my cousin Mary Alice just posted today, who wants to do a Gurky family Zoom so we can all be together? There's all of us married, cousins, great grandkids, everything, there's 75 of us. That's gonna be a big Zoom. Yeah. Molly Jackson says hello. Hi, Molly Jackson. And Brendan Brown. Hi, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Miss Bailey, you are a movie star. Not quite, Miss Bailey, but I'm having fun. Okay, so I put, painted those red stripes. 
I think that looks pretty good, but if you um, are painting and it's not thick enough, or you feel like it needs more, you can always do a second coat. You can blow dry it and do a second coat, or you can just go back on wet. And then remember, if you want to, if you think like, oh, this just doesn't look quite finished, when it's dry, you can take a Sharpie to it and outline. You can add anything you want later with the Sharpie or a metallic paint pen or glitter glue. I mean, sky's the limit on a Christmas decoration. Get that glitter glue out. I did not include glitter in the kit because I didn't think the parents would appreciate that. That would be bad. I don't use much glitter in the art room either because it's such a mess. Okay, let's see, what am I missing? Oh, I haven't done any of this. Okay, I'm trying to do this again and I want these little swirly lines to put the Christmas lights on. So now I'm gonna use this round brush for that because I get a little finer tip with that round brush and I'm gonna use the black paint. And I'm gonna add another line of paint in here. Let's see. Thank you. I crafted this Christmas vest um, probably 15 years ago out of two, out of two Goodwill sweatshirts. <laughs> I wear it every year, it's my favorite. Who is it? Jackson Hello. McMurray, Jackson, Jackson Mc. Oh, one of my former Fairview students. That is awesome. See, even the former Fairview students come back to Family Art Night. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this black and swirl my Christmas ornament or my lights. One of, uh, another holiday tradition that we do, my husband, Mr. Greenhouse and our son Grayson, is we like to get in the car and go get hot chocolate and drive around and look at the Christmas lights. And this year, Norris is in, we live in Norris and they are encouraging all of the Norris folks to light their houses up so people can drive through and see the Christmas lights just for something to do that's like a good socially distance, like sit in your car with your family. Look at Christmas lights, they're calling it Norris Shines. Another neighborhood that I really like to um, go through um, is that neighborhood in Clinton that's right under the Green Bridge. They always have really good lights over there. Okay, a couple more of these little. Hi, Coach Wade. Thanks, Coach Wade. I'm glad you're watching. Okay. Now it's time for the... Oh, this would be such a cute idea. If you have a little one doing this for the ornament, for, not for the ornaments, but for the lights, have, put, have them put their finger in the paint and do dots with their fingerprint for the Christmas lights. That would be so cute. My finger is too big. It would not be cute, but I'll use a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be adorable if you had a little one. And I'm gonna mix, I think I'm gonna mix some blue and, a, and some white, because I want my blue on my tree to be a little bit lighter. This is gonna be the start of my Christmas lights. Hello, hi, hi Holt family. It's almost like we're all together. Mm -hmm. Only it's not as noisy. Usually the cafeteria is really noisy when we do family art night. But that's okay, because it's like we're all together and we're having a good time and everybody's making something awesome. And you have to send me pictures because I'm really, you know, worried that I'm not gonna see a race finished work and that's my favorite part is to get to see what everybody makes. And that's the one thing that bums me out a little bit about doing it this way. So you, you're just gonna have to email them to me or post them on Facebook, your finished artwork. Okay, I'm gonna put some yellow lights 
And I'm just kind of randomly putting these on here. I'm not doing anything like specific pattern. I'm just kind of eyeballing the lights. Red lights. I think just red, yellow, and blue will be good. But if you wanted to mix, you could make purple lights with red and blue, and you could make orange lights if you want. Oh, what about an all balls tree? Somebody could do like all orange and white. So the cool thing is now when you're done, you can flip it over and do it again because the back side and then you can have a two-sided one and then you could do it all walls tree. That's a great idea. So cute. The gray will your antlers. Thank you. The, the greenhouse boys went to the Dollar Tree last night and got these for me just for this event. And I pretty much love them. So if you need some of these in your life, they are from the Dollar Tree in Clinton. And they're pretty, it's pretty comfortable. It's just Velcro, very soft. <laughs> All right, I've got my lights on there now. And I want to do, I want to paint the ornaments. What else? This is Cox with like a shout out. Oh! <laughs> Ashley Cox, I hope that you paint your tree all orange, mm -hmm. right? Go Vols, <laughs> Ashley Cox. If you paint me an orange tree, I'll send you a card. Ms. Cox is my son's teacher. <laughs> She's a good one. Mm -hmm. We have, I'm sure everyone here knows this, but Norris Elementary School and Fairview Elementary School have the greatest teachers. I am so lucky to work with these awesome teachers and we have fun coming to work. We do. And this year's been really stressful, of, of course, for all kinds of reasons and different and, you know, unexpected things happen. <laughs> you just go with it. But, you know, it's just great to go to work with people that are awesome. So I feel really lucky to get to go to work every day. Mask and all. <laughs> oh yes, this is looking good. So I'm gonna just put red, yellow, and blue on top of these white balls here. And now I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the blow dryer again. I'm curious to know if anybody's doing something like really different with their tree. Just put in the chat if you're getting like crazy wild with the tree. It would be like Mason and Sawyer's dad. He always does really cool stuff at Family Art Night. And we have some family, we have some really artistic parents that come to Family Art Night and do really cool stuff every year. And I look forward to what the parents make when they show up. So that's, I get excited whenever parents and kids make art side by side. So if you're going like totally off, something different. Oh, Beth Goins says, what do we do if it gets smeared? Okay, you have some choices. You can either just like go with it and just say this is a beautiful thing. You can blow dry it and paint another layer over it, like blow dry the whole thing and just go green and start again. Uh, call this one practice and flip it over and start again. So those, that's what you can do if it gets smeared. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry this for a little bit. So you can also, if you want more like little ornaments, maybe not those big ones, you can take your brush. Let's see, maybe I'll put this in here. Little. Is a before yes, she is. Yes. 
Oh, Maggie, I can't wait to see it. Beetlejuice. Yeah, he is. My husband, Mr. Greenhouse, is also an artist, everybody, so I'm sure it's going to be awesome, whatever he comes up with. So I'm taking the back of this brush now, and I'm just going to do little dots like this. So that's a little technique. You want to make sure you keep going back into your paint, but doing these little dots with the back of the brush. Going to add, like, some dimension and some texture. I think I'm going to do some white like that too. Maybe it'll look like snow. Let's see. So now I'm going to take this again. I clean the back of that. And I'm just going to put little dots all over. That is super cute. And then, let's see, I will use this brush, this little skinny guy again, and swirl. This isn't totally dry yet, but I'm going to go for it. Now, if you're trying to get your paint to move and it's not moving real well, like I said before, you want to make sure your paint is dry or your paintbrush is dry. But there's sometimes when I want my paintbrush to be a little wet, you know, when you're painting something and you want it to move a little better. So you could water your paint down just a little bit if it's not like your initial layer. Oh, that was too wet. Hi, Dominic. I hope you're having fun painting. So between my two schools, boys and girls, we sold over 200 Christmas tree kits. That is so exciting. I cannot wait to see them all finished. Mrs. Branham says it's like she's sitting in your classroom. She's having fun. Mrs. Branham and Miss couples, our principals, of course, get to come observe me. <laughs> so, the, so they know this is like art class. Oh, I'm glad you guys are visiting the art room today. Of course, it's way more fun when we're all together, but I'm having a pretty good time. Oh, that looks good. Look at those little swirls on there. It's so cute. Okay, so if you want to make a brown trunk. My kids know all three primaries make brown. So let's see what I can make here. Some yellow, some red, some blue, and mix it up. See what we can get there. It is like one of the favorite things for the kids to mix all the colors together color mixing experiments. It's kind of more gray, but I'm going to go with it. So if I had some glitter glue, I think I would do gold glitter glue all around the star. I have to add that later. I'm going to take my black now. Almost finished. I'm going to take my black now and go around the this little swag here. Of course, you can do this with the Sharpie also if you want to. So don't forget, when you're finished with your tree, I want you to post. Should we just have them post it to the live, or should we do it a separate post? Yeah, I want to go ahead and make two posts on Norris and Fairview. Oh, perfect. Post, and I say post your trees. So you Good. So we're going to have a, a place on the Norris Facebook page and the Fairview Facebook page where you can post your finished pictures. And if you post, let's say by... 
I mean, you might not get done with it tonight. If you're making a Beetlejuice tree, that could take some time. Sunday, this Sunday, November 22, 22nd, by like 8 p.m. Okay, that, that's when I'll do the drawing. So email me your finished pictures or post them on Facebook. And I will put all the names in the hat. I'll do a Norris hat and I'll do a Fairview hat. And I've got gift cards to Vega. I've got gift cards to Sweet Cafe and I've got gift cards to Museum of Appalachia and they all have really good desserts. And Sweet Cafe has really good pizza. And you could go and next week when you're off, well, I won't get it next week because I won't see you. I'll have to give it to you after Thanksgiving. But take your family out to dinner or out for dessert with the gift card if you're the winner. We'll post on Facebook who wins the drawing for the Christmas tree. Ms. Floyd says hello. Hi, Ms. Floyd. Is Paisley painting her tree? No, oh, Presley. Presley. Called her by the wrong name. E, sorry. Presley. Look, this looks really good. Of course, you'll have to, like I said, you'll have to write your name and 2020 somewhere on it. Paint all your edges. Take your time to paint all your edges. Glitter glue the star. Flip it over, paint a Vols tree on the other side. What else could you do? Ms. Thrain's from Indiana. She'd want to do a Purdue. A Purdue tree. Black and, gold. <laughs> Black and gold. The Missouri folks could do that too. Missouri tiger tree. That's where my people are from. Mm. Snowman, tree. Snowman tree would be super cute. Or if you wanted to, you could do like Halloween on one side and then Christmas on the other and like flip it back and forth. Mm -hmm. Or a New Year's tree. So many great ideas. So. Let's see. I think I'm about done with this. I'll paint all the edges and clean it all up. There, these paint brushes that were in your kits are not the highest quality paint brushes, of course. But they did the job. But if you want to clean your brushes, one thing that I recommend is to, I, I like to say, treat your paint brushes to a spa day and give them a shampooing. You just put a little bit of soap in your hand and you take that soap and you shampoo your brush and that gets all that paint out of there. If you, if you leave acrylic paint in your paintbrush, it's plasticky and it dries and it's solid and it never comes out. So you just take a little uh, soap, hand soap or dish soap and wash it out and then you take it to the sink, you know, after you've given it its little shampooing and you do that, and you wash it. Also, if you get, if you happen to get paint on your clothes, this type of paint on your clothes, what you wanna do, like let's say we, oops, got it a little bit on our clothes right there. You just put a little dish soap on there. Don't put water on it. Just put dish soap on there and rub the dish soap on the spot. Acrylic paint really is not washable, but if you do this, it does help. I've gotten, I've gotten it out of clothes before this way. Of course, I get paint on my clothes all the time. But that'll take it a little bit more out. It'll fade it. Just don't put water on it. Just scrub it with the soap and then throw it in the wash, in the clothes washer. Any other questions about family art night? This has been really fun. Says Presley is watching this year. She's gonna oh, she's watch. just gonna watch. Yeah, she might be a little young for painting. And Madison Watson says hello. Hi, Madison Watson. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, this has been a really good time. I know that everyone's gonna come up with the coolest paintings. I cannot wait to see. Cannot wait to see. You better send me pictures. There's a little, you know prize in it. If you send pictures, you might get drawn for one of those gift cards. Let me look at my list and see if there's anything I missed, because I have a, some notes here. 
You can email me. If you email me your picture, make sure you put your student, the student's name and uh, grade level. That way I know who it's coming from. Because I will, I, I'll end up with like 200 Christmas trees and I won't know whose is whose. So we better label them with the student's name and you know, you could just say Grace and G third grade. That way I'll know. The and poster ready. And yes. Oh, the posts are ready. Yeah. Okay, good. The posts are ready. So if you're done with your tree already, you can just snap a picture and send it, or you can keep working and don't stay up too late. It's still a school night. I have to get up in the morning. So if you need to finish uh, your tree this weekend, you can do that. What else? Anything else to share? This has been a blast. Thank you guys so much for joining me for Family Art Night. I made a mess and I had a really good time. So that, you know, that I think that means we're done. Are we good? Good. Yeah. All right. Thanks guys. See you tomorrow at school.